Summer is fast approaching. Say goodbye to spring and hello to the hottest time of the year. Let's avoid all the bug problems, sunburns, and poorly planned outdoor activities, shall we? Keep watching to find out what summer hacks you can enjoy in the coming months. Number 19. A natural ant repellent. Some people might feel hesitant to bring in toxic ant repellent into their homes. If you have pets or a small child, it's easy to understand your hesitancy. For a more natural approach to ridding your house of ants, try this hack on for size. Take a cup of popcorn kernels and pour it into a blender. Grind the popcorn until it's pretty much powder. When you're done, you'll have some fresh cornmeal. Place the grainy substance into a small pile in the corners of your kitchen floor, counter, and wherever the ants gather. Wait a few days, and you'll no longer have any ant problems. The cornmeal doesn't necessarily kill the ants. Instead, the cornmeal all over the ground disrupts the scent trail, making it difficult to know how to go back. Number 18. Stay frozen, pony boy. Here's a hack that's a little better than that poorly done reference to the outsiders. If you want a way for your water to stay cold during a hot summer's day outside, only fill it a quarter of the way. Turn the water bottle on its side and then place it in the freezer. A few hours later, you'll have a block of ice inside the container, keeping your water cool longer for your day out. This process works great if you don't have a water bottle with a rim big enough to fit ice cubes. Number 17. The irritating nature of sand. Anakin said it best in Star Wars. Sand is coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Visiting the beach is one of the things you have to do during the summer, but dealing with sand isn't always pleasant. Even weeks after you've left the beach, you'll still find sand in all the crevices of your belongings. What's a quick way to brush off the sand? Baby powder. When leaving the beach, throw some powder on your arms and legs. It absorbs the moisture of your sweat, sunscreen, and water. In turn, you can dust off the sand easier. Number 16. The proper way to cut mango. If you haven't tried eating mangoes this way already, where have you been? Just in case you've never heard of this method, let's dive in, shall we? Eating mangoes can be messy. They're super juicy, squishy, and sticky. Cutting up pieces and eating it with a fork and scooping out the flesh with a spoon sounds fine, but there's a faster, less messy way to do it. First, cut the mango into three sections, leaving the seed as the middle section. Take the other two sides and carve a grid-like pattern across the piece. Push the skin part upwards so that the cubes pop up. Now you have ready-to-eat bite-sized pieces. Number 15. Turn that burger upside down. Why in the world would you eat a hamburger upside down? What's the difference? Well, you've probably noticed how the bottom bread bun flattens as you continue to eat. Condiments and other burger contents spill out the sides and the back. Turning the burger upside down allows the bigger, thicker bun to hold everything up. This way, you're not left with a terrible mess. Number 14. No mosquitoes allowed. One of the downsides to summer weather is the emergence of more mosquitoes. Mosquito bites can ruin a fun vacation or family outing. To reduce the presence of these pesky bugs, you don't need store-bought mosquito repellent. You can make some of your own. Anyone hesitant to spray that stuff on them, or for anyone who doesn't have access to buying cans of repellent, all hope is not lost. Purchase some limes and cloves. Slice open a lime and citrus fruit like an orange or a lemon. Place some cloves on the flesh. Mosquitoes detest the scent of citrus, so surround your area with this fruit and the insects will be flying away in no time. Number 13. Another mosquito hack. If, for whatever reason, that hack didn't work for you, or you don't want to waste limes when you could eat them, all hope is not lost. Citronella candles are said to be an excellent way to repel mosquitoes as well. Citronella oil comes from stems and leaves of lemongrass. That citrus scent is apparent in this stuff, too. Citronella candles help spread that scent more potently into the air, making your mosquito fight more effective. Number 12. Minty Bug Bites. As much as you try to combat the creepy crawlies in warm weather, bug bites are inevitable during the summer. If you're in a place with no bug bite ointment readily available, don't fret. People will almost always have toothpaste nearby. Squirt some toothpaste and gently spread it over the bug bite. Many experts recommend toothpaste in these instances because the menthol acts as a cooling agent, relieving the irritation of your wound. Number 11. Fire up the nachos. How do you feel about the fact that people use Doritos as a way to fuel their flames? Literally. You've probably heard before that Doritos make sufficient kindling. Now, we aren't monsters. We're not saying that you should buy some Doritos for the sole purpose of burning your s'mores. However, if you run out of wood chips, coal, or anything else, you now know you can always use your uneaten Doritos at the bottom of the bag to keep the bonfire aflame. Other types of junk food chips work too, in case you don't want to part with your nacho cheese chips. Number 10. Keep the straw still. For fans of soda, you've probably encountered this problem before. 
It's a hot day out and you want a cold, crisp drink. You open up a soda can and pop in a straw, only for the straw to rise out of the opening. If the straw is too long and the soda can is too short, the straw often falls out. To altogether avoid this, take the metal tab you used to open the container and twist it around. Then stick the straw into the tab and voila, your straw stays in place. And you can enjoy your beverage without hassle. Number 9. Homemade Freezer Packs You can always buy lunchbox freeze packs from the grocery store. If you fear the plastic container tearing and spilling onto your food or you don't have time to buy one, there is an alternative. Take clean, unused sponges and wet them with just water. Place those sponges in a sandwich bag and place them in the freezer. The sponge will absorb most of the melted water, so you don't risk spilling too much water or the contents of a freeze pack onto your food. Those freezer packs are usually full of non-toxic gel, but even if it's non-toxic, you don't want it to be all over your lunch. Number 8. Clean the towel stench. Towels will be in overuse during the summer. With all the time you're outdoors, you're going to use towels for various things. Going to the beach might leave a weird smell on your towels, but you don't have to live with it. If your detergent isn't eliminating odd odors, you can always try vinegar and baking soda. Sometimes the odor and laundry detergent build up, allowing for dirt and smells to linger. Baking soda and vinegar are known to dissolve buildup and neutralize odors. You have to wash towels twice, once with vinegar and then the second time with baking soda. Your towels will feel fresh in no time. Number seven, trick the robbers. It's not always pleasant being the person who has to stay behind with all the belongings on the beach while everyone else frolics in the water. At the same time, it's not pleasant to have robbers steal your things when we're busy having fun. To trick thieves, don't hide your keys in a wallet or a purse or leave them out on the towel. Instead, take an empty, cleaned out bottle of sunscreen or lotion and put your materials inside. Make sure to cut an opening big enough to fit your phone and money. A thief would need to look closely to see the bottle was cut open and chances are they aren't going to linger around that long. Number 6. Use a diaper. What we mean is you can also use a diaper as a way to conceal your valuables. Take a clean diaper and make it look used by stuffing your phone and cash inside. Most people looking to steal will not pick up a diaper first. Number 5. For smooth legs. For anyone who wants smooth as silk legs to show off when you're in a swimming suit or shorts, remember to exfoliate. Flaky, dry skin is neither attractive nor comfortable. In the rush of our day-to-day -day lives, we forget to exfoliate even when we're in the bath or the shower. But you should always remember to exfoliate your skin at least a few times a week. You can make your own exfoliating scrub at home with three simple ingredients. Sugar, citrus, and coconut oil. The sugar will scrub away dead skin, while the coconut oil moisturizes it. The citrus acts as a brightening agent so that your skin appears fresh and clean. Number 4. Go for cheap. You don't need the best designer items when you're going to the beach. That stuff is going to find its way in the dirt and grime anyway. Save money on things like flip-flops, beach towels, pool toys, and party supplies by shopping at the dollar store. That way, you can spend more on fun vacations, better quality food, or a new summer wardrobe. Other things you can purchase for just 99 cents or $1 are gardening supplies, yard decorations, small snacks, and swimming gear like floaties and goggles. Number 3. The Dripping Popsicle one of the worst things about eating a popsicle is when it starts to melt, and melt it will. Suddenly, the frozen treat you were enjoying is now all over your fingers. This hack is so simple we're surprised it isn't already common knowledge. Use a cupcake liner. Poke a hole at the bottom of the liner so that the popsicle stick fits through. Keep the liner at the base of your dessert, ensuring anything that drips lands in the cup. It's like a mini sword. Number 2. Protect your phone. Nowadays, your phone is your everything. Smartphones allow you to have access to contact information of colleagues and loved ones, apps for your bank account, and things linked to your money, emails, and social media accounts. If you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, you need to be able to call for help, or at least an Uber. You can't do that if water or any other liquid seeps into your phone first. When going outdoors to the pool, beach, camping, or kayaking, it's a good idea to keep your mobile in a Ziploc or specially made plastic container that won't let moisture in. A little goes a long way. Hopefully some of those hacks intrigued you enough to try later. Before we reveal number one, we do have a question for you. If you could plan the perfect summer vacation, where would you go? And what would you do? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number one, treat the sunburn. An important reminder, don't forget to use your sunscreen during the summer. The sun's harmful UV rays can cause a whole host of problems for your health. Sunburns are no joke. Remember to always apply sunscreen before spending a lot of time outside. Choose a sunscreen of at least FPF 30, as it's the most basic level for most people and most skin types. SPF 30 blocks at least 97% of UVB rays. When you get a sunburn anyway, you should apply aloe vera gel to the site. For something a little more soothing, place some aloe vera juice in an ice cube tray and freeze it. When you return home, rub the cubes on your skin. The cold provides extra relief.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell notification.